This is a webbikeworld.com video tour of the Scorpion EXO 400 helmet. This is a pretty nice helmet. It's actually it's at the it's at the bottom uh, of the line of the Scorpion helmet line, cheaper than the EXO 700, but really pretty much uh, equal in quality. We think very nice helmet. It's got real nice finish. It's nice. This is a nice color pattern. It's got a pretty thick clear coat. It feels pretty robust. So I think uh, this will last. It looks like pretty high quality. The gasket around the bottom is nicely applied. Good quality all the way around. It's got a little bit of a complicated venting system. There's a vent on the top. It swings back and forth. There are these two vents on either side that open and close. I think that could have been just one vent. It would have been just as easy. It's a little bit of a complicated uh, intake system. On the chin, there's a small vent that opens and closes. And you can see it's very small. Um, it barely opens and closes, maybe about a quarter of an inch. It sort of does the job okay, I guess. In the back, there's uh, these permanent exhaust vents at the bottom. And then there's also an exhaust vent at the top that opens and closes just a little bit, as you can see. That would have been just as easy if, um, if that was open uh, all the time also. The visor's uh, pretty thick. It's got a nice tab to uh, open and close it. It doesn't really... Um, uh, it doesn't flex that much, so it seems to be pretty thick. The visor removal system is a little bit tricky. You have to turn, open the visor all the way, turn this wheel, pop the visor out. This little uh, post that's in here has to go behind here because that's what, what uh, acts against these little notches for the detents to hold the visor as it opens. It's a little bit tricky to get it back in because you've got to get that post behind there, pop the, the visor back on. And uh, turn the wheel, and it should be all set. Yeah. The liner is very comfortable. Pretty much the equivalent of the uh, EXO 700. It's kind of a smooth, silky, a little bit shiny, kind of a microfiber uh, finish inside. But it's thick. The padding is very thick. It's pretty comfortable. This is an XL. I think these helmets, based on this example, probably run about a size small because this feels much more like a large than it does uh, an extra large to me. It uses a, a D-ring attachment system and it's got a nice fabric holder over here, a grab loop also, which is nice. It's got a snap on the loose end of the uh, chin strap that can attach um, up here to hold that. So all in all, pretty nice helmet at a good price. You're probably not going to find a helmet at that price point that's um, better quality than this. Very quiet on an unfaired uh, motorcycle. The only problem we found is that on a motorcycle with a fairing where the wind hits up along the chin, it is does seem to be much uh, noisier than other uh, helmets that we've tried. So there you go, the Scorpion EXO 400 from webbikeworld.com.